Do you have unexplained weight gain? Well, did you know that there is a link between EMFs, blue light toxicity, and weight gain? So when we do have a lot of this artificial light in our eyes, and usually it is higher in that blue light spectrum from the LED, so the energy efficient bulbs, and artificial light basically in our environment. And what it does is it actually raises our blood sugar. And this has been studied in the literature. If we take a look at this study, it was found that morning and evening blue enriched light exposure altered metabolic function in normal weight adult. And we know that that blue light exposure immediately before and during the evening meal increased hunger and altered that metabolism. So we want to definitely do our best, especially after the sun has gone down, so usually that's around the time of the evening meal, to ensure that we don't have artificial light exposure. If you need to have lights on, make sure that they're lower to the ground as well. Maybe you want to light a candle, have natural fire light, but really limiting your blue light exposure at this time will significantly have a difference in your blood glucose levels. You can also wear the blue light blocking glasses, which is something that we do in our home to help to keep our insulin in check and our blood glucose levels in check. We also know that that blue light exposure, which actually is highest naturally from the sunlight, those blue wavelengths in the morning. And what that does is it helps to wake us up. So we definitely don't want that blue light exposure close to bedtime because this will decrease our ability to sleep and also will affect our insulin resistance. Now the other aspect is EMF, so electromagnetic fields. And I'm talking about the not natural ones, the non-native ones. And the drawback with having a lot of EMF, so I've got other videos about EMFs and how to decrease our exposure and limit our risks from EMFs because they're all around us. They're from our cell phones, they're from our Wi-Fi, from 5G, and all of you know the electronics that we have plugged into our environment, which are not natural. It's not the same as the natural waves from the sun and from the earth and the electromagnetism of the earth. And this will offset the proper functioning of our cells. And one of these things is called the VGCC, so the voltage-gated calcium channels. Now what they do is they allow for too much calcium to flood into our cells all at once and this is dangerous. It's dangerous for our cellular metabolism, our mitochondrial health and has a lot of negative health correlation. So it's something that we definitely want to mitigate our risks. One of the things is to ensure that you have enough magnesium. And it's interesting because this is related to weight gain as well. Magnesium being really important to block that excess of calcium coming into our cells. It, magnesium is a natural calcium channel blocker. And we know that may, we need magnesium for our metabolism of our carbs, our fats, and our proteins. And this is something that, you know, one of my TikTok followers actually shared with our live group that she loved lost 15 pounds just from starting to take magnesium and magnesium bisglycinate in particular. And I have, you know, a feeling that that had something to do with her EMF exposure, actually now supplementing where she had a deficiency in magnesium and now her metabolism was boosted. So today I talked all about unexplained weight gain and the link between EMFs, blue light toxicity and gaining weight. I hope you've got some questions or comments for me. Please drop it in the comment section below. Be sure to share this video as well and give me a big thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, welcome in. I hope that you'll subscribe and turn on those post notifications by clicking that bell. Everyone has a calling in life and one of mine is to educate you to live your life in tune and in line with nature. Thanks for watching.